people in town here that are having to drive to Penticton to go to a walk-in clinic to get a prescription filled because they don't have a family doctor anymore. The Okanagan Similkameen Regional Hospital District voted not to support funding primary care clinics as a part of a bid to attract family physicians to the region, even with the significant need for physicians in the South Okanagan. I was disappointed with the outcome of what happened at the RDOS yesterday, but that is not the only option moving forward. It's just, it's just one. From what I saw, there's people that just do not think local government has a role in uh, setting up clinics. There's some people that don't think that the regional district should have a role in setting up clinics. Um, I, think, I think we need to look at what's happening and things have changed in the world and the way doctors want to work. Uh, primary care clinics are as important as renovating and building new hospitals. We have to have a way for people to get access to physicians and through those physicians they get access to the hospitals. Johansson doesn't believe this will impact the town's own plan, however, continuing to work on a primary care centre themselves. We're also working with our MLA and the ministers, uh, the Ministry of Health in the province to also find uh, ways to uh, get funding to be able to establish these clinics because I do believe team-based health care, firmly believe team-based health care is the future and the biggest challenge is how do we how do we recruit new doctors to come and support the community, support the residents that have lost their doctors and support the emergency department at South Okanagan General Hospital. It is estimated around 12,000 people are waiting for access to a physician in the region. For Castanet News in Oliver, I'm Casey Richardson.